Hello friends, I am Shirazi Salakin and I am back with you guys for the uh, with another uh, scheduling algorithm which is called the SAF which means the shortest job fast algorithm so here is you can see some line for that type of algorithm the associative with each process the length of the x its next cpu bra etc etc so let's come to the point in the example if i told you guys the example i think you will understood it better so let's just look on the problem so problem is the process we have the four process and we have the bust for bus time p1 for p1 we have the p6 bus time p2 p8 and p3 7 p4 is 3 so what will be the next so now let's see yeah for sj <coughs> scheduling chart here's come to the p4 but why p4 because the bus time is 3 here this 3 is the less of the all process so for this the s4 process uh, sorry p4 process is came to fast and after that see that the p1 bus time is the lesser of them so for this after three second is executed p1 is came into the qa uh, qa and execute after executing p1 the p3 came to the QA and after at the last the P2 came into that why because of you have to compare the bus time which is smaller you will execute it first so this is the just a simple example of SF scheduling chart so now let's see the if you <coughs> there is the primitive okay so primitive is the another part of the SF where the process will be interrupt so I will not discuss it today I will describe it in my next video so now come to the this one point example of priority sharing non primitive so non primitive means you don't have an interrupt during the execution time so here you can see the priority so what is the priority if you know the priority is a queue where whose priority is less he will execute it fast okay so fast one two three four something like that so now if you have to the sgf so what will you have to do so you now you have to consider first time and priority both so just check this p1 have 10 10 bus time and priority 3 p2 bus time 1 and priority 1 p3 is bus time is 2 and priority 4 process p4 bus time is 1 and priority is 5 and process p5 bus time is 5 and priority 2 so what will come first before uh, the first as like the first example the p2 and p4 will uh, have the same time but look at their priority priority p2 have 1 and p4 have 5 so for this just look at this so p2 is came first because of his priority so uh, because of his priority is 1 p2 is came first after that uh, when the, <coughs> the priority goes down p2 is down and now priority is 2 so who will be in the QV so P5 in into the QV because it is we are calculating our the priority queue so after as like the bus time we are calculating here with the priority so after that P1 is executing P3 and P4 and I uh, sorry for my mistake bus time and priority queue as actually they are considered for the primitive so I will describe it later so average waiting time is just 8.02 and you know how to average it average waiting time because first is waiting time is 0 for p2 p5 waiting time is 1 
P1 waiting time is 6, P3 is waiting time is 16 and P4 is waiting time 18. So summation of that not take this 19 and divide it into by 5 process. So if you divided that you will get this result. Okay. So now let's a simple let's see a simple C code for the SJF. So here the this is the header line and int i integer main and integer this is the variable. I took this as like the first FCFS priority scheduling just there is a some line uh, extra line for this so that is w equal to 0 float uh, w uh, i took this variable for the average time average waiting time and average turnaround time as like the previous example i just take the input from the user enter the bus time for the process and the process number is for every each process it will be the increment so that is i i tried to take this because of this actually this is the swapping okay so for the <coughs> bus time which bus time is lesser he will execute it fast so for this i this code from this to this is the swapping code so what will be the work here i uh, i try to i actually execute two for loops so if you have to understand that you need to think about the matrix okay so matrix first position is zero zero after zero one after that uh, zero two zero three like this and zero n and first when first column is done then it comes to the one 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 two one three as like to the n so this that work is working here so what i am doing i am just checking each position value with an another another position what is the temp i take the temp temp equal to the v to the power i if the it is less so this the value of bi will into the team and bi equal to bj so if the value of this position is more so this value is situ uh, stored in the B, uh, bi and after that the bj equal to team so what is the in the temp value team value will be in the bj so from this i uh, we are checking all of positions value for the small and after that this is the same code as the fcfs just we have to add this swapping process for the SJF. So now let's run it. Okay, it's taking. Why is taking too much time? Okay, so now here, look at this. Enter the process now. I am giving the four process. Enter. Enter the bus time for process 1, 6, enter 4, first time and enter 2, enter for 1, just I am giving the 1, 8. So let's see, guys. I entered the first bus time for the process 1, 6, then 4, then 2, then 8. But look at the start we have got process 1 bus time 2 4 6 8 it's actually swapping that and after that swapping it's show us the value and as the waiting time and the turnaround time and the, in the last the average waiting time and the average turnaround time for the value so hope you guys like it and share my video and subscribe to my channel and thank you guys